Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to design your skincare website using Shopify. My tips will include a few sections you can add to optimize the layout and functionality of your website, and also cover how to create a blog for your skincare business and how to add a blog post to your Shopify store. To follow this video, you'll just need a Shopify account. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. The first tip I can highly recommend for a section that you can add to your skincare website would be to include an FAQs section. The FAQs section can help to answer your customers and your website visitors frequently asked questions, which in turn can help make your website more user friendly. And you can feel free to make use of the FAQs section by not only adding it to the homepage of your store, but you can also add it to other pages within your store, such as your product pages, your contact page, and more. I'll be showing you how you can add the FAQ section to your homepage and also to your product pages. All right, here on Shopify, you're gonna open your Shopify store by clicking online store, then themes. And then you can go in to customize your website and you can choose anywhere in your website to add the FAQs section. So I'm just gonna be adding it somewhere almost midway through the homepage. So here in between sections, I'm gonna click add section. And here I'll be inserting a collapsible content. And this will create drop downs for each of these rows. So not only will customers see the frequently asked question, but when they click on it, it will create a drop down where they can see your answer. So here under caption is where you can type in a caption if you would like to introduce this section. Then you can type in your heading title. So you can title this FAQs. You'll have the option to edit this text. So you can put it in bold or italic. Then you'll have the option to edit the heading size. So you can make it larger or smaller. Then you can choose to edit the color scheme of this section. You can choose to select to open the first collapsible row, which will basically show the frequently asked question and your answer. That way customers know to click on the rows to get the answers. You also have the option to insert an image for this section. So here you can adjust the image ratio and under desktop layout is where you can reposition the image off to the left or off to the right. When you click on one of these rows, the first thing I'm gonna do is under icon, you can edit which icon you would like to apply. I'll be setting this to a question mark to represent each of the questions. And here under heading is where you can insert your frequently asked questions. And feel free to in the future update the FAQ section and add more frequently asked questions. Here under row content is where you can type in that answer. And you'll have a few different text editing options. So you can make the text larger or smaller. You also have an option to insert a link for the text. And once you're finished, that is a quick way that you can add an FAQs section here to your store's homepage. You can also choose to take your FAQs section a step further by including one of those collapsible content rows on your product pages. Here I've opened a product and at the bottom of this page, you can go ahead and add one of those collapsible content sections. Then you can customize this section to include your most frequently asked questions for your products. Since we're adding this collapsible content to your default product template, it will default under all of your products that have this product page template applied to them. Adding an FAQ section is a great way to help make your website more user-friendly, and it can also reduce the amount of frequently asked questions that you have to answer on a daily basis. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're gonna receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this skincare Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. The next tip you can consider for if you have a skincare business would be starting a skincare blog. A blog can be very beneficial to skincare businesses. Each blog post can be a way to help your customers and website visitors engage more with your brand and obtain value from your brand. And through your blog post, you can help to promote your products and you can help to promote the instructions for how to use your products. First off, I'll be showing you how you can add a blog post here on Shopify. Then I'll be showing you how you can feature three blog posts on the homepage of your site. Here on Shopify, I'm gonna click blog post and this is where you can go and add a new blog post. I'm gonna set this blog post to visible this way it will appear in your online store and when you scroll down here you can edit the author of the blog you can add tags to the blog and here under blog is where you can assign it to a new blog so currently there's just a default blog titled news and that's the blog i'm going to assign this page to so here's where you can create the title for your blog post you can choose to create blog posts related to the type of products you sell and this can be blog posts with tips and advice related to skincare and your blog post can also be centered around your products. Here under content is where you'll be typing in the description and the content of your blog post. For an example, I'll be using ChatGPT to help me generate the blog post text.
You have many different text editing options. For an example, you can choose to recenter the alignment of the text, and you can also choose to make the text larger or smaller. Feel free to use number lists and bullet points to help you section off different parts of the blog post. And you have many different text editing options. You can choose to insert videos, pictures, and you can also insert links leading to other websites or leading to pages within your website. You can choose to upload multiple images to divide the sections of the blog post, and you can stack images to create collages. I'd recommend selecting the images and centering them. Here I'll be uploading a featured image to represent this blog post. Next I'm going to click save, and then you can view your blog post. And that is the way that you can create a blog post here on your Shopify store. And again, feel free to promote your products through your blog post and insert links to the products that are on your website. Then you're going to go to customize your website. And here I'll be showing you how to add a featured blog section here on your homepage. Here I'm going to click add section. You can choose to insert a featured blog post section, but I'll be inserting a multi-column. Here under heading is where you can title this section. I'm going to remove the column background. And here you can choose to label the button label and you can choose to link it to your blog page. I'll be removing this button label and through each of these columns is where you can feature your blog post. So under heading, you can type in that blog post title. Then you can also type in a mini description to introduce that blog post. Then here for the link, this is where I'm going to select to feature that new blog post. And you can also choose to upload an image to represent the cover for that blog post or just an image to represent that blog post. Then once you're finished, that's how you can feature that blog post or a few of your blog posts here on the homepage of your website. The next tip that I can highly recommend that you do with your skincare website would be to customize your contact page. I'm going to show you a really quick way that you can add some of your contact details here on your contact page to give people a little bit more information of where they can contact you and your contact hours. Alright, so this is my current contact page. I'm going to click on this contact form and I'm going to be removing the heading text. Feel free to change the color scheme of this page. Then here I'm going to click add section and I'm going to insert a rich text. I'm going to select to reposition this section to be above the contact form. And this is where you can insert some of your contact details. So first I'll be removing this button label. Here I'm titling the heading and you can also make the heading size larger or smaller. Then I'm going to click on this description text box and here's where I'm going to insert some contact details. And you can also choose to duplicate this text box to insert more details. When you click on this section, you'll have the option to change the desktop content position and to also edit the content alignment. I'll be choosing to align these two text boxes off to the left. So I'm going to duplicate this section and I'm going to edit these two text boxes to achieve that. And once you're done, that is a quick way that you can add some of your contact details to the contact page. Here's also how this section appears on mobile. You have plenty of other editing options that you can choose to do with this section. I'll show you a quick example of how you can insert an image banner to this section just to create a little introduction. So here I'm going to click add section to template and I'm going to import an image banner. Here you'll have the option to upload one or two images and you'll have a few other editing options so you can adjust the banner height. You can choose to change the color scheme. I'm going to choose to remove the container on desktop and you can choose to adjust the image overlay opacity to make the overall image darker. And next I'll be setting this banner height to small just to make the image banner a little bit more narrow. You'll be able to edit the heading text for this section and you can make the heading size larger or smaller and the same for this description text. Then I'm going to click on the button labels and I'll just be removing both of those button labels. And that is a quick way that you can add a little introduction banner for the contact page of your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. 
Those will be linked in my description box below. And if in general you're not too familiar with Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This is a guide I've put together that includes a lot of info for if you're a beginner with Shopify. The guide covers things like how to read your analytics page, how to set up your shipping policies, and more. And this guide, I've included screenshots and written text explainers to help you understand each section of the guide. I will link that in my description box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching.